So we just realized we forgot to do an end of the day video yesterday. That's where we ended and then went up to Four Pines, which both of us took pictures and videos. And now it's 920 and we're getting back on trail, getting ready to do our end of night and next day video. Woohoo! Good morning, everyone. It's 920 on day 71. Wow, that's weird. Monday, June 6th. Monday, June 6th. We are going to, um, we're coming from Four Pines Hostel, which was pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. I like the, the view there was by far the best view of any of the hostels we've stayed at. Um, we're aiming for 16.9 today, getting both McAfee Knob and Tinker Cliffs. Yep. And we, I slept good last night. How yep. about you? Slept good too. And yeah, now we're back on trail. All right, we'll see you out there. Lots of switchbacks. I appreciate switchbacks. Hmm. Cricket's a little further behind. I don't feel like waiting right now. But there you can see him coming through. Asking if she should get off trail. She had broken her foot. This is our view along the trail. How wonderful is that? And here is the trail right alongside the pasture. Just made it into the next pasture. And since we are in a pasture, we must really be diligent about watching where we go so we don't get poo on our shoes. Or even worse, slip and land in the poo. That would be bad. You know what I love about nature and flowers? The flowers don't need to compete with one another. Each flower has its time of season. They don't have to compete to get the pollinators to come and pollinate them. The little ones, the ground ones, they start first. And then as the grasses and everything gets taller and more things get greener, then the taller ones come out. Everything has its season, and there's no competition needed. I wish us humans could figure that shit out. Oh, I'm going to try and say that word a little less. Yesterday, I was frustrated and in pain, and I dropped the S-bomb, I don't know, way more than I've dropped it in any of my videos lately. At least I'm not dropping the F-bomb. I love all these purple clovers along with the daisies and whatever the little yellow flowers are. Now we go out, whoa, out of the pasture. And into the woods on a very nice new bridge. 
That looks pretty damn solid. And this is probably the water that we're not supposed to drink because it runs through all the pastures. Look at these new ones. I've never seen them before. That is where we're going. And way down there is where we came from. Holy crap, this is the longest route I have ever seen. This is some seriously, seriously steep. Even with the switchbacks, it's seriously, seriously steep. Watch how fast he gains height. My poor cricket. I love you, you stubborn man. You need to let me work on you. You know I'm the only one that can fix you. Especially out here. It's a gorgeous day. But you know what sucks? What sucks is when your man, your partner, is hurting and you can't seem to help. Shit, I worked on four people this morning. Each one of them felt significantly better. I was able to get everything to move the way it's supposed to move. But when I work on my man, I just can't get it right now. And he needs some help. Love you cricket we'll get you fixed up somehow so my hair I'm glad so many of you like it this is gonna be so look at how those curls and that man the cow licked me in so many weird ways and all these curls coming in, but it feels so cool. I can't keep my hands out of my hair. Thankfully, I've washed my hands four times since I've been on trail, but it feels so weird and awesome and th way thicker than it ever used to be. Of course, it is thinner here than on this side, but that might have something to do with all the curls and the way that they're going. I don't know. Now I got a Brillo pad head. It's so weird. And this really dark spot is just, it's weird. Look at that. That explains a lot on how my hair chose to do what it chooses to do. And people ask if you, do you have a side you like to part it on? I didn't know I could choose. My hair has its own ideas of what the heck it wants to do. I am so curious to see how it grows out. And that's like thick. It is so thick. My hair's never been thick. It's so freaking awesome. It's the parking lot we started in last year with my brother. This says 3.9 and it's really about 3.7 by far out. What are these crazy fuzzy buds? Look at those strange seed pods. 
we had a discussion this morning around the, the table at the hostel. What is the most photographed spot on the AT? Um, Cause we're at McAfee Knob in a few miles. But someone said, um, Clemming's Dome is probably the most photographed because the Smoky Mountains are the busiest national park in the country. Clemming Dome, which technically is not on the AT, it's a side trail. Um, I think either the arch at the visitor center at McCall Falls, but then again, that's not the AT. So then you have Springer Mountain, the rock, or you have Mount Katahdin at the top of the sign. So, I don't know. What do y'all think? Put in the comments, what do you think the most photographed spot on the Appalachian Trail is? I so appreciate steps and flatter ground to walk on, especially when we're well my honey my cricket is feeling a little better the tram it all kicked in i'm glad i had it i carry it just so i don't need to use it but if i need to use it i got it thankfully i haven't needed it and it's working for him and even if he screws it up more, we're gonna get him taken care of sooner than later. When either one of us are hurting, the other one never goes too far beyond eyesight from the other one. So that if something happens, we are right there for each other. These are really cool rock formations. Hopefully it's kinder on our feet today than it was yesterday. From the bottom, you can get a much better view of how challenging it is. In a chair? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to carry it. It's probably about a pound. Fuck, I'll get rid of that damn vibrating ball then. Damn it, man. Something in the Cheetos. My mouth does not like. My tongue has got a bunch of sores and getting more. I can feel it burning. That sucks. No more Cheetos for me. This is awesome what they did to make it so you don't have to walk at such a terrible angle. Thank you, trail maintainers. amazing most of this tree is dead except everything up there so weird nature is crazy yet amazing it would have been awesome to see a mama and two cubs again but i don't want to piss mama off uh, oh excuse me we are 0.3 from mcafee knob and the giant boulders are getting bigger and bigger. Very cool. Big, big giant rocks. 
look at this amazing solid one piece surface. Wow. Almost a McAfee. That's an ass kicker. Now, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yes. You. All right, this is McAfee Knob. Everybody comes to take their sunrise photos. But we're, right now we're the only ones up here. And that's how you get here. But we were on the ledge. McAfee knob. There it is. We made it. Woohoo! Here's the makeshift memorial for Grandmaster. This is where he fell. And his mother came and his uncle came. So sad. Look at how absolutely amazing this is absolutely incredible oh my goodness it is so amazing and beautiful out it's 68 degrees and breezy yay and we're going down so it actually feels like 68 degrees Body observations. It's 4.53 and my feet started hurting about 4.30, which is way better than yesterday. It was almost all day. I think we have like five more miles left in Tinker Cliffs. Catch. Damn. Wow. Hold on. All right, legs. That's not fair. My legs are so much shorter. It's so much harder. Ooh. This is the fun stuff that really kills the feet. Oh yeah, it's 5.30. My feet are so sore. And the only thing besides stopping that makes them feel any better is curling my toes in between each step. So as I pick my foot up, I curl my toes because my toes are always being bent in the other direction and they don't like these rocks anymore. Oh, you see that? That means we go this way and then it looks like we go up on top. Oh, wow.
Oh my goodness, it smells so good up here. I wanna bottle this up and bring it home with me. Oh. It's so sweet smelling. The flowers, the fruits, whatever it is, it's amazing. Holy cow, we're still only 0.4 from the top and it's at a flat-ish area before the next steep up. Uh, I think we're close to the cliffs. I love these massive rocks. This is so awesome. It's worth it, especially since I'm breathing normal again. Here we are at Tinker Cliffs. Near sunset, or at least late afternoon, how fabulous. Oh my goodness. So that highest peak out there. That little white dot just to the right of the highest point is McAfee Knob. We just walked all the way on that ridge line to here. A little further down the cliffs. Growing out of the rock. This is so beautiful in here with all of that right there. And I would consider camping here, but we don't have any water. 
and that's not going to work for me. literally walking. It's probably about a uh, hundred foot drop, maybe more. Got about, oh, we have over an hour and a half left of daylight, about a mile and a half to camp. So I'm guessing about eight o'clock we'll get there. Enough time for setting up the tent and eating dinner and crawling in bed. And then you leave us a short, Less than 10 miles tomorrow morning. And now we're walking down below Tinker Cliffs. I feel like last year we came up this way and went the other way, or did we come this? No, we came this way. Oh, okay. We started at the parking lot, went north. Oh, yeah. Big wall of rock. It's 7.36 and we're about 0.4, 0 0.3 from the tent site and the shelter. This is one of our latest nights yet. It's 8.23. This is the latest day ever. And my feet freaking hate me. Dinner tonight, so late to eat, is lemongrass Thai curry and beef pasta marinara. Neither one of us have had either of these, so we'll let you know. I really love their food. This is nice and spicy. Well, it's got a good kick, but this is freaking awesome. And they're like $7. The only caveat is they're only 630 calories, but you know what? Lately, I haven't wanted that much at the end of the day. At the end of the day, oh my goodness, my, my feet hurt so bad right here. Oh, and it feels so good to run the fingers through the toes. Oh. But it's litter. Oh. Yes. 